Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaScript tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn how to use events in JavaScript. So first of all, what is an event? An event can be an action which is performed to do some work. For example, you click some button, you hover over some HTML element or you press some key, right? So let's see how we can use events in JavaScript. So for example, I will create a button element here and I add a text here. And as an attribute of this button, I will add an event called on click. Okay. So on click is an event. And when this button is clicked, I want to perform some action. For example, I want to alert something right now keep in mind here we are using single code inside alert for example hello world and i think you may understood this because we are including alert in double quotes and if you use double quotes here it will be not escaped and it will create some problem okay so let's save our code and uh, refresh our web page and you see this button and when you click this button it will show you this message called hello world right now for example i will create one more item here for example it is a h1 tag and the id of this h1 tag is for example my id okay and instead of uh, using this, I can use uh, this method in JavaScript, which is called get element by ID and give your uh, name of your ID, which is my ID. And keep in mind, just add this ID in single quotes here, right? Then dot inner HTML. And there is a method in JavaScript called date and this returns current date and time okay so save your code and refresh your web page and once you click this button it's going to give you the current date and time with time zone here also now there can be different type of event which are possible and most common events are these so on click we have already used for example let's say we are using on mouse over Okay, so instead of on click, let's paste on mouse over here, save your code and refresh your web page. And when you hover over your button, not click, but hover over and it will show you the result. And once again, when you hover, it will uh, refresh the time, right? You see it's refreshing the time in second. Okay. Now, instead of using uh, this JavaScript functionality here, you can uh, use a JavaScript function. So just add a JavaScript function like this in the script tag, make a function called show. And what it does is it's doing the same job as this code. Okay, so I'm going to remove this code from here. And instead of uh, this code, I can call this JavaScript function, right? save your code and refresh your web page and when you hover over your mouse once again you see the same result now for example you want to show this time on this button itself what you can do you can do something like this so just copy this inner html is equal to date and just write this dot inner html is equal to date and save your code and refresh it and when you hover over it it will show the date on your button okay so you can do this also now to use this on load event what you can do is you can go to your body element and call this on load event is equal to the function for example we want to perform this function okay so do this and uh, then you can remove this button because we don't need it right now and save your code. And once you refresh your code, it will show you this uh, 
date and time when your body element loads now to use this on key down event what you can do here is instead of a button you can use a input and this input can be of type text and then you can uh, call this uh, on key down event here and you can call this function to your on key down event so like this okay and save your code and refresh your page and then it will show you this right so whenever you uh, enter something in this input box then your uh, time will change right you can see here okay now we must remove this from here in order to uh, understand it clearly so once again refresh your web page and whenever you enter something it refreshes your time okay so in this way you can use these events in javascript i hope you've enjoyed this video please write comment